Welcome everybody to the Playing for Change YouTube channel today in this special partnership with Silk Road. Wow, what an amazing global audience. I'm so excited. Um, let me think about this for a second. Uh, hola, bonjour, ni hao, ciao, konnichiwa, guten tag, anyang haseo, privyet, assalamu alaikum, uh, namaste. Um, mm, that's about all I've got right now, but uh, I think you get the point. Hi. My name is Nicholas Kords, and I have the honor of being a co-artistic director of Silk Road and your host for today's program. So, check it out. Playing for Change was created to inspire and connect the world through music. Silk Road was created to inspire and connect the world through music. Aha! So, clearly a lot of shared vision between our organizations, which are both trying to break down barriers and make the world a more beautiful place. So. Specifically, what are we doing today? Well, first of all, it's a concert. We're gonna whip around the world uh, to visit the homes of some really extraordinary Silk Road artists. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please tell your friends right now. We're gonna start in just one minute. Um, more importantly, today is also a fundraiser. Playing for Change Foundation is doing amazing work to support different communities around the globe where they work to provide uh, much needed food, medical care, and humanitarian support in this incredibly challenging time. Silk Road right now is raising funds for our artists and crew to do amazing work through the creation of new music, um, as well as other projects designed by our artists to serve communities in need. Um, I think everybody would agree that the world is really in need of some music and healing right now. So. Lots of work to be done, um, and we need your help to make, make it happen. So you're here, which is already a show of support, and it's great to have you. Um, but we also hope that you consider making a donation today of any amount um, to help our two organizations. 100% of the proceeds that are raised today will go to support the work that I just described. Um, there's a blue donate button uh, right below. Uh, check it out. I think it's super easy. Okay. So, more about that later. Um, let's get this global music party started. I think I know the right way to do this. Um, I have a friend I'd like to introduce you to, an aspiring cellist, Mr. Yo-Yo Ma. Seriously, uh, Yo-Yo is a personal hero of mine, a beautiful human being, and he also founded Silk Road 20 years ago. So, Yo-Yo, over to you.
Welcome everyone, I'm Yo-Yo Ma, and you are in my home in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It is a joy to be able to play for you this afternoon and to join my friends from the Silk Road Ensemble and friends from Playing for Change to celebrate all the great work that people are doing during this horrible, horrible time. This is a planetary moment, and so music from Mongolia to Europe to America to Africa, Australia, we want to bring the world together through music, and we hope this can give all of you a moment of respite from the hard work everybody is going through in order for us all to live and survive and thrive together. Thank you. And now you have a special treat. My good friend Wuman will treat us to something very special. Hello. Thank you, Yo Yo. Welcome to my home, beautiful sunshine, Southern California. My name is Wu Man, and I play the instrument. It's an ancient Chinese instrument called pipa, with a very long history, about 2,000 years, very long, and was introduced to China through the Silk Road trade from Central Asia. It's been very, very difficult for me and I'm, I know for everyone the last couple of months. But music keeps me strength, gives me comfort and uh, made me smiling. So, I think we can all together get through this difficult time very, very soon, I hope. Um, a piece I want to share with you this afternoon is called Leaves Fly in Autumn, my own composition. The reason I'm choosing this is because I want to get out. I want to play with the leaves. I want to see the beautiful nature. And I want to play with this beautiful golden and red all the beautiful leaves. Um, in Chinese, it's called Yang Hua Jiu Yue Fei Pa. Leaves fly in autumn. Thank you. 
Woohoo! Leaves flying everywhere. Thank you very, very much. It's been great to play music. Beautiful afternoon. Please support Silk Road and support Playing for Change. I wish you all the best. Stay home, stay healthy, and see you soon. Wow, Wu Man, that was really extraordinary. Thank you so much. The musicians of Silk Road are a special bunch. Um, really, not only are they incredible tradition bearers, but uh, they're also very generous collaborators as well, and together um, form the Silk Road Ensemble. If you're interested to learn more, there was a documentary that came out recently called The Music of Strangers. Uh, and you, maybe you could add it to your quarantine queue, if so inclined. Uh, so just a reminder, my name is Nicholas Kords, and I am a co-artistic director of Silk Road and the host for today's collaboration between Playing for Change and Silk Road, uh, two organizations that are trying to heal, uplift, uh, and connect the world through the, th uh, through the power of music. Um, if you're able to support today, any amount is amazing. Your participation is what is important. Look for that blue uh, donate button and just do what you can um, uh, and help us to do important work in the world through music. So now uh, we're gonna go to New York, uh, specifically to Brooklyn, to meet two brothers, uh, Colin and Eric Jacobson. Now, don't be alarmed if you see uh, them together in this next segment and they're, they seem to be breaking social distancing guidelines. Uh, they actually live in the same house together with their beautiful families. Uh, Eric and Colin are two of my oldest friends in the world and Eric's wife is the amazing and jaw-dropping singer Aoife O'Donovan and if we're lucky she will join for a tune. Uh, so without further ado, over to you. Thank you so much, Nick. Wow, amazing music from Wuman and Yo-Yo. My name is Eric Jacobson. This is my brother, Colin Jacobson, Aoife O'Donovan, my wife. We are here in Brooklyn coming to you. We're so excited to be here. We feel so lucky to get to be together, uh, quarantining together and play music as, as a family together. Um, and, and we're so sad that we can't be there playing with Wuman and playing with Yo-Yo, but happy to be playing for, playing for Change and for Silk Road. Thank you for having us. Here's a song called Distress, an old hymn that I uh, used to play with my band Crooked Still. So face the lovely men and flowers, frail smiling solace of an hour. So soon our transient comforts fly. Thank you. 
That was a beautiful song by Colin called Lydia's Reflection. And yeah, we're here in New York and New York City, city that never sleeps. You might have heard the subway just go under. Yeah. <laughs> it's still running. It's most of the time. We'll finish up here with a song, an old traditional song called Lakes of Pontchartrain. On a bright March morning, I bid New Orleans adieu. I took the road to Jackson Town, my fortune to renew. I cursed all foreign money, no credit could I gain, and it filled my heart with longing. I stepped on board a railroad car in the early morning sun. I rolled the rails to evening and I laid me down again. All strangers here, no friends of me, till the dark girl toward me came. I fell in love with the Creole girl on the lakes of Pontchartrain. I said, my lovely Creole bird, my money here is no good. If it weren't for the alligators, I'd sleep back in the wood. You're welcome here, kind stranger. Our house is very plain. We never toot a stranger out. Me 
shall gather in a flowing glass of it, and I'll drink to the health of my Creole girl on the lakes of Pontchartrain. I'll raise a glass to my Creole girl on the lakes of. so much. I'm Colin Jacobson. That was Aoife Donovan, and that was the Lakes of Pontchartrain. And here is Eric Jacobson. Thank you so much for being with us and um, for being part of the Silk Road family and playing for change. If you can, please donate to all these worthy causes, um, supporting so much. And uh, back to you, Nick. Beautiful, guys. Thank you so much. I could listen to that all day long. Uh, and thank you for letting us live vicariously through you in your living room. But, you know, it occurs to me today that we're in a really big virtual living room together. Um, and it's amazing to see all the comments uh, streaming in and thanks for all the positivity and support. Um, I'd like to shout out viewers uh, tuning in from Brazil and from Italy and France, the US, Canada, Germany, many other places. Um, also, out of Argentina, I'm told that there's a Facebook, Facebook group uh, following along today called La Bio Guia, uh, and their mission is to share things that change the world in a positive way, and that's incredibly beautiful. Thank you for doing that work, and thank you for being here today. Um, so, uh, I'd like to introduce you to our next Silk Road artist, Sandeep Das. Uh, Sandeep plays the tabla. Um, his tradition is from India, he'll tell you about that. Um, a word of warning, Sandeep always finds a way to blow my mind with whatever he does. I've known him for many years and he never fails to disappoint. Um, so let's sit back and enjoy, but I would also recommend that you fasten your seatbelt. Hey Nick, thank you so much for that sweet introduction. Colin, Eric and Aoife, what lovely music. Namaskar everyone, I am Sandeep Das. I am from India and I play the instrument tabla. I live in Boston for the last seven years and this music comes to you straight from my heart, my home in Boston, to wherever you are in the world. In the current times that we are facing, the word upaj keeps coming into, into my mind. Upaj means creation, but creating literally something out of nothing. So let me take you to a, on a journey with me where I don't know where I'm headed. So here it goes.
thank you very much for joining us here today. Now I uh, welcome my friend, my brother Kojiro Yumezaki next. Nick, why don't you take over? Uh, was I right? Sandeep, that was truly mind-blowing. Uh, you never disappoint. Um, thank you so much. So, quick reminder uh, that this is a collaboration between Playing for Change and Silk Road, uh, a joint fundraiser for two organizations that are using the power of music to not only inspire, connect, but also to find peace in the world uh, through this really difficult time. Uh, please locate that blue donate button below. Uh, you know what to do um, and do what you can to support this important work. Um, you know, since we're here, I think it's also uh, also important to use this platform to give a shout out to all the frontline medical workers who are doing so much uh, for all of us right now. Um, I like to think of music as essential, but the work of saving lives in such a selfless way is truly an inspiration. So Sandeep already mentioned uh, Ko Umezaki. Um, I'm going to let Ko introduce himself. Um, I have so much respect for Ko because I know that his instrument, the shakuhachi, is incredibly difficult to play. I've tried it a couple of times, uh, and all I can produce on the instrument is the sound of air blowing through a bamboo. So uh, that's about all I've got. So Ko, why don't you show us how it's done? Hi everyone, it's Ko Umezaki here. I'm coming to you from very, very close to downtown LA. Uh, I hope everybody's well. I'm so glad to be part of this event which is the fundraiser for Playing for Change and Silk Road. Um, I want to share with you a piece uh, that I've been sort of uh, playing around with recently. It reflects what I'm doing right now in our, our safer at home condition here in uh, California and downtown Los Angeles. It, uh, it's a piece that uses some technology. So I've been totally geeking out. And the reason why I've been geeking out is, is it's just another way for me to sort of reconnect with uh, all of my friends and my musicians around the world. Um, this particular piece is based on some work that Silk Road has been doing with the students at the Lame Deer School on the Northern Cheyenne lands. That's sort of part of Eastern Montana. And about a year ago, we went up there and we were working with them uh, to create some music um, based around the shakuhachi, which is a, a Japanese traditional flute that I play. Uh, and I had the students working on some notation uh, that is traditional notation that they drew in calligraphy. And after drawing uh, some, some of the notation, we reconfigured it uh, in the interest of creating uh, melodic fragments. Um, and so here's a melody that the students from Lambier created, and I'm gonna do a little bit of improvisation for you on it uh, with some technology. So here we go.
Thanks very much. I hope everybody is staying safe and well. Take care. Many thanks, Co, for bringing in the students of Lame Deer into what you just did in such a beautiful and thoughtful way. Um, I also want to say it's, it's uh, just beautiful to sit back here and watch all the comments and positivity of uh, flooding the feed um, below. And uh, thank you so much. It's making the world feel a little bit smaller, which is great. Uh, and your support truly means everything to Playing for Change and Silk Road. So you really do not want to miss what's coming up next. Uh, to introduce the next selection and collaboration, I would like to send it over to the fabulous Christina Pato. Uh, Christina, where in the world are you right now? Hola, Nick. Uh, estoy en Galicia, na miña terra. I'm in Galicia, in the northwest corner of Spain. Yo-Yo and I have been playing the piece that we are about to play for a number of years. It is a very special piece. It's a movement from the Quartet for the End of Time by Olivier Messiaen. We would like to dedicate this piece to all the people that have lost someone to COVID-19 and are struggling through these times. Our heart and our love goes with all of you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining Silk Road and playing for change today. And to close this concert, we would like to share a video that was created by Playing for Change, along with Silk Road and our friends from the Kennedy Center's Turnaround Arts Program. This video kind of illustrates the power of the arts in society and inspires us to keep creating music and bring it your way. So again, gracias, gracias de corazón. Thank you very much for joining Silk Road and playing for change. Sometimes I'm right and I can be wrong. My own beliefs are in my songs. Butcher, the baker, the drummer, and then makes no difference what group I'm in. <laughs> Sometimes I'm right, and I can be wrong. My own beliefs are in my song. The butcher, the banker, the drummer, and then makes no difference what group I'm in. Cause I am everyday people. There is a blue one that can accept the green one for living with the bad one, trying to be a skinny one. Different strokes for different folks, and so on and so on. It's gooby 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 doo. Sha sha. We got to live together. I am no better, and neither are you. Thank you sincerely for tuning in this afternoon. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this program as much as we've enjoyed creating it. Uh, we appreciate your generosity um, and support, and we invite you to also join Silk Road and Playing for Change. Uh, join our social media channels, follow along, uh, follow the work as it's happening. There's lots of information below, uh, so check it out. Uh, we'd like to just end and conclude today's program with Silk Road's 20th anniversary video and we hope you enjoy be safe be well and see you soon
Hey everyone, my name is Jake Groshong and I'm the Executive Director of the Playing for Change Foundation. I want to start off by sending a huge thank you to Yo-Yo Ma and Nicholas Cords and Kathy Fletcher and all the unbelievable Silk Road artists that have shared their talents with us today. I also want to send our gratitude to all of you for watching and donating and supporting our communities and kids in need across the globe through music. You know, now more than ever, our partners are vital. So thank you to Corning Gorilla Glass and Audio Technica, who make sure that each week we can bring you a new artist and a new live stream. So be sure to check back next week and see who's on tap because every dollar that you donate goes directly to the Playing for Change Foundation Emergency Fund, providing health supplies and food and so much more to the communities that we work with in need across the globe. So I'm gonna leave you now with a short video on all the work that you're supporting by being here today. And please stay safe and we'll see you next week. This song says, uh, no matter who you are, no matter where you go in your life, at some point you're gonna need somebody to stand by. When the night has come, Music, I'm telling you, things change in life. Things change in life. No matter who you are, if you get into music, music will change you as a whole in life. Yes, so I urge everybody to learn music. Music is giving the kids an outlet to release their emotions. I think every musician will relate to that, that whenever we play music, it's a very special moment where we release all the emotions that we have and it physically brings you uh, something that is very important. But I would say our ultimate mission is to be able to give a future to these kids. I'm now a student at the same time, a teacher. I have learned for some years now and I'm now giving them back what I learned. Playing for Change has done a lot for me and I pray and hope they get more support to get more schools like this I mean, around the world for more people, for more children to learn more about music. Yes, it's helping us a lot. La música generó muchos cambios en mí, eh, ya sea en mi personalidad o en mi forma de pensar porque antes Poner, yo siempre doy ese ejemplo, yo antes era muy, muy impulsiva con todo, o sea, me hablaban mal y yo ya reaccionaba mal o cosas así y como que la, la música te, te tranquiliza pero de, a medida que pasa el tiempo te va cambiando, me, me cambió mucho para bien, obviamente, y eso vale oro. We can educate the people through the music. I'm eyewitness of that at my village. Because music is changing their life and their thoughts and feelings. And through the music, they are changing their self, they are changing the village, and they are changing the world.